water and water and water 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 so the souls games have a lot of water it's even got some shocking secrets Get it? Like how little secret treasure waterfalls there are. The others don't even bother to hide the goods. Mechanically it works very differently for each game. So let's begin with Lightning conducts in water, spreading the effects in a wide area. Every single lightning miracle works. And even the Dragon Slayer Spear. Bolts and buffs do not work though. The spread damage is shockingly good. Depending on the spell. It's only a 30 to 13% reduction in damage. What's strange is that water doesn't increase damage. Since on a direct hit, the bolt is consumed. It works in more places than you might expect. If there's a splash, then it shocks. Baddies can use this too. But in return, I can finally beat Pinwheel. It even works in Swamp. Not tired though, thankfully. And these creatively named frog greys. I wonder why. They are called this. They have unique behavior. Only in water. Just bait this froggo. To this one puddle. His movement will now change to a gliding style. And will use a hidden move. It's pretty sick. It's like this guy sludge. But busted. It's missing the secondary effects. Hum. Feels bad, man. Where do I even begin? Being wet makes you waterlogged. It changes your fire resist. For a whole five minutes. It also reduces lightning. It ain't bugged. It just can't go below zero. It removes 150 if possible. It's pretty strong. So smash those jars. And use rain. It extinguishes torches. We even got a pool. It takes a while to fill though. Water is needed for the infinite bright bug glitch. It's easy to do and real strong. You can stop bad status effects building up by washing. 
you hearing that Smash Brothers fans? You're big fat sticky green jerk! Hey, it's my physical appearance! That hurts really bad! The S2 Tears Powers Death Ross Mask <laughs> It's weaker than normal water it changes both by only 100. But there's a neat trick. It's great for washing. This prevents poison clinging onto you. This won't protect you. While directly in swamps though. Finally. Lightning returns. Just not arrows and urns. Shockingly. We got twice the spells. And they're pretty cool. Now it actually increases damage. Since it also acts on a direct hit. But it doesn't increase by much. Even with the best build possible. You'll get a terrible 95 damage. Regardless of spell. Stop! You no talent! These arcs seem to have two hitboxes. How confusing. Why can't you just be normal? Oops. It turns out it's oddly simple. The arcs do about 10 to 20% damage. Depending on the spell. How disappointing. Or so I thought. But being wet actually changes their defenses. It lasts one minute. So it's really a 30% boost. Nice. And what I thought was a second hitbox. Is that Lightning Spears. As a natural AoE. This does about 40% damage. Which is pretty strong. Right there. They better not change how lightning works. Allow myself to introduce myself. I can excuse demons for being the oldest and having the best waifu. But Bloodborne has several lightning abilities. There's no damage boost or conduction. And despite how it seems, water adds nothing here. You can't even clean yourself anymore. Oh, the remake does nothing, but add this dirty puddle. Yeah. I paid $500 for this. Gotcha, bitch. Now you can swim. Whoa. What is that radius even? And why can't I abuse this? Anyways... Underwater combat is now possible. You can't kill the fishy this way though. But be warned. If you're old... And enfeebled... Like me... Stick to baths. I am under the water. 
प्लीज हेल्प मी Grab water is near useless. I'll exhaust back, but no more elemental defense changes. Oh dear! Swamp still count as water. Kinda. They sometimes forget. We got six spells. Pretty much all lightning spells work. Storm always arcs. Stake works with water though. Burns and arrows finally work. And it's beautiful. Aesthetic. For weapon arts. Only the one Dragon Slayer Spear works. This one just makes nice splashies. Splish. Despite the visuals, status effects don't cling to you. Unlike Dark Souls 2. But you can clean. Even the filthiest of waifus. That's me. It's just a cosmetic change. As for arc damage, it's real good. For the urn. But the shock wave is the same for all spells. Making the bow slightly better. It sucks for crossbows. How disappointing. The weapon art sucks as too. Water never increases damage. Just like Dark Souls 1. Since it's consumed on a hit, it can't hit both. Apart from that, we get the first bonfire. In water? I don't even. Almost finished. They probably just removed more stuff. Right? I don't like that dramatic pause. God damn it. Fine. At least there is not many lightning moves. Oh no. All right. I think we all have earned a nice relaxing bath, eh? This all needs its own video. Hum. Oh, and grandson? Get the toaster.